Hey, what's up everyone? James and Cuervo from Junkyard Box. Thank you so much for joining us. And we are out here relaxing in our beautiful West Texas desert. And we are about to get that fire going and cook up some dinner. So we are overdue for a good old fashioned camp cooking recipe video. Cuervo Negro is actually going to be taking the wheel this time and he's going to be showing us how he makes his famous chicken tortilla soup. So he's going, to, he's going to be making the fire, chopping the veggies, all that stuff. He's going to be wearing the chef hat today while I'm you know, behind the camera filming. So I hope you're hungry. Thank you for joining us. Let's get started. All right, so let's get to your ingredients. So what I like to use for garnish is the cheese sour cream, the chipotle asadero, oh sorry, no, adobado sauce, and the cilantro, and then your tostadas, the, those are mostly the after the everything is cooked. So we're going to use a whole green pepper, a jalapeno, and half of onion, and sorry, the, the avocado too is for after, and then two tablespoons of minced garlic, and then another tab two tablespoons of uh, chicken bouillon. And then a whole can of uh, sweet corn over here. And then my favorite is the can of rotello. These are good for mostly any plate. If you're just cooking chicken by itself or meat, just slab that stuff on there and you're good to go. And uh, the chicken breast. We're just gonna use one. I think it's enough for both. Yeah. Cool beans. So a quick camp trick is uh, the flies are relentless today and so we brought a special weapon and it is, sorry about that, uh, Gobernadora, which is also known as creosote. And it has a beautiful scent when it's wet and a lot of strange, mysterious things I don't know about as of yet. And we're going to place it on the fire and it's going to create this beautiful white smoke and it's going to act as a repellent for these unwanted visitors.
So the flies are just not our friends today. So we're gonna use the Yuko plates. Not only are they serving as our bowls, but they will serve as our containers to keep away the contamination from these guys. the onions to the oil. And mix them up a bit until they're a little bit translucent and then we're going to place the, the garlic in there. Alright, so they've been cooking for about maybe two minutes. It's time to add a tablespoon sorry, of minced garlic. Let's get that guy in there to get to know each other. And we're just going to give it maybe two more minutes and then we'll add the water and the chicken. Alright, so now that the onions and the jalapeno have gotten to know each other pretty good in there, now we're going to add two, sorry, four cups of water and then place the chicken in there with it. So we're going to wait till it boils and while it's doing that we're going to add another bouillon, sorry, which is two tablespoons of this stuff. Careful, it's windy. to see what happens.
Now it's time to add the bell peppers. I'm gonna make a whole one big family in there. I always like the colors the tortilla soup has. The bright yellows, it's nice greens, and the white of the chicken. This is very harmonious. All right, so it's been cooking for about 10 to 15 minutes. And now we're going to add cheese and tostadas. This part is mostly to your liking. I like to just throw a little pinch of cheese in there. And remember, every time you add tostadas or cheese, it's going to increase the sodium in it. So it's going to make it more saltier. And what this does is it's going to thicken the broth a bit. And just wait for them to dissolve a bit. You could always add more or less. It's up to you. I like to have it a little bit more thick. That's what she said. Now we're going to let it sit for, I would say, maybe another five minutes and then it's ready to serve. All right, so while it's finishing cooking up, we're going to prep our garnishings. So we're going to cut this avocado up, and we're going to open up this can of chipotle in alvado sauce. And then I don't like to cut these. I just like to pull them off the stem, cilantro. And then we're going to put tostadas, cheese, and sour cream. Of course, all of this is optional. You don't have to do all these things, but I think it adds the kind of like the cherry on the cake or <laughs> the pie, whatever. <laughs> and yeah, let's get let's get going. Look at that, perfect. Get this guy out. What I like to do is peel it. And just fasten it. for the prep time.
Okay, folks, so here is my bowl. I followed Cuervo's steps exactly as he did, just to get the exact experience, just the way, the way he likes it. So I'm gonna break this up a little bit, just the way he did. And it's a moment of truth. Of all the years that we've known each other, he's never made this before with us, so I've never tasted this prior. So we're about to find out. This is damn good. This is really good. It's weird because it's it's very zesty. I'm not sure where that's coming from, but that tastes really good. Almost like if we put lime in here. But um, yeah, all the ingredients. I mean, it's so flavorful. It's really damn good. All these years, he's been holding out on us. Okay, folks, so that is about it for us. We're going to finish eating our dinner and just enjoy this beautiful summer night. Stoke up that campfire and uh, cool off some as well. So thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Cuervo, for sharing your chicken tortilla recipe, your chicken tortilla soup. And, um, yeah, I can't believe it took this guy like 20 years to share his recipe. But uh, good stuff. Prepare to see that recipe in future camping videos. And thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. And comment down below if you have any questions, comments, suggestions. And if you're so inclined to check out our other camp cooking recipes from jambalaya to ravioli, uh, classic steak, anything like that, we will have our playlist up here. And that's about it for us, folks. So thank you for watching. We'll see you guys next week. Now go outside and get your boots dirty.